our channel. Miranda here representing the Global Air Drone Academy. Now, if you watched our last video, you saw that I represent us or represent the company as the program manager, but the students here know me as Coach Miranda. And so today we are going to be unboxing another drone, the LEDQ9, which is exceptional if you are a beginner. Similar to the one that we used before, the DIY, which is also a great drone to use for beginners. The difference is the DIYs, you have to build those yourself. The Q9s, they come all ready put together for your use. So all you have to do is just take it out of the box, add your batteries, and you are good to go. We love to use this particular drone for our classroom setting, and the kids love it as well. Why do they love it? One of the main reasons that they love it is because it flips. <laughs> Another amazing reason why our students love the Q9 is because it has these wonderful lights. I don't know what it is about a drone and what it is about the lights, but as soon as you turn that power button on to your drone and it lights up, the kids just go bonkers. So if you are in the search for a new drone and you're a beginner, you definitely want to start here with the Q9. We'd like to also share with you guys that there is a huge difference between the drones that we're showing you today and the ones that our students use when we're on site teaching them. These are slightly larger than the drones that our students actually take away with them at home. That's one main difference. And then the other difference is that in this larger one that we're actually gonna be unboxing for you, when you open up your remote, the larger one takes four batteries, which don't come included in the box, and the smaller one takes three batteries for the remote control. Again, that does not come in your box. Another difference really quickly before we open up is that our larger drone here actually comes with one battery that goes inside of your Q9 and the smaller ones that our students receive actually have two. They have a spare. So we just wanted to make sure that you understand that those batteries don't come included that go inside of your remote. And also you have extra batteries that are present in the smaller Q9 than you do in the larger one. So let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and take our materials out of our box. So what comes inside of your box, your instruction manual is there for your use. Then sometimes, just like in the other, uh, the DIY drone that we use, sometimes the bag with your material in it is stuck under the plastic frame that's holding your Q9. You have your bag of materials here, and we'll go through that so that you know what you will need to utilize when you're operating your Q9. And then you also have your Q9 and the remote. So I'm gonna take that out for you. It looks just as you see it on this plate. Pops right out of its frame. You have the Q9 and then you have the remote. Okay, so I do wanna make note that the battery that goes inside of your drone does come wrapped in plastic for you. I was able to already open it for you previously, so that is why mine is not in plastic. So you have the battery that goes inside of your drone. You also have your four A and B propellers. So there should be four of them. And then I have another one in here who was hiding just a bit. So that's your fourth one there. And of course we use that just in case when we're flying our propellers come off or um, our Q9 gets damaged in any type of way. We have these extra materials or these extra, extra propellers to be able to replace them. And then we have these caps that go on top of the propellers to keep them in place once you add them into your Q9. Then you have two chargers, USB portable chargers, to be able to charge your battery. So what you're gonna simply do when it's time to charge is connect your battery into this port here, then find a USB base and plug it right into your socket at home. 
You also, just like with the DIYs, you have a small Phillips screwdriver, and then you also have a tool to use to help you to get those propellers off if you need to. So those are all of the materials that are inside of your box. But remember, you have AAA batteries that you will need for your remote control that are not included. But don't worry, we have four here just for you. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and add these into our remote control. I do want to put a little disclaimer in here that there is a slight difference between what the larger remote control looks like in comparison to the smaller one. So the smaller one actually has a place for you to utilize your small Phillips screwdriver to unscrew to get into opening the latch so that you can put those batteries in. The larger remote controller doesn't have a screw, so that's one thing that you don't have to concern yourself about if you have this, this uh, drone in particular. So we're gonna go ahead and press that lash down, open our remote control, and add in our batteries. Remember, for the larger remote, the larger drone, you need four AAA batteries. For the smaller one, for your young learners, you only need three AAA batteries. Make sure that those batteries are put in correctly. And what we like to do with our young learners is before they go ahead and close their remote control up, we just have them turn it over to turn their remote on. When you hear those beeps, you see that light flash, you know that your remote control is on correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off, flip it back over, put this piece back on, and you can't push it unless that latch goes down. So you press the button on the side, down, and voila. Your four batteries are now inside of your remote control. Remember, you do not need a screw there. So that is one major convenience about the utilization of your remote control. You don't need any screws for that. So now that we have placed our batteries in our remote and we talked about how we can use our remote, Let's shift over into our Q9. We want to make sure that we add a battery into our Q9. So let's take our battery that we have here, go ahead and turn our Q9 over, press this down. What's different between this, this drone, the larger one of course, and the smaller one is that the smaller one actually has a latch for the kids to turn to open to put their battery in. This one you just have to press down and push one way and then the latch comes open. And would you look at that, there's a battery already inside. So before I stated that uh, there that this particular drone only came with one battery, I stand to be mistaken. Your hidden battery actually already comes inside of your drone. The wonderful thing here is that it's not connected, which is amazing because of course we don't want it the battery itself to drain. But I am gonna take this one out because while you weren't looking, I charged this one. <laughs> so when we go ahead and fly our drone, we'll have plenty of charge for our flying. And then we just press, press that battery down in there. Give it a good push, don't be shy. Then we press our latch. I have to turn it around just to make sure that those wires, sometimes the wires are a little tricky and our um, students get scared to like press down in there, but we're like, no, it's okay. You're not gonna break anything. Just be strong and you got it. And then before you know it, they got it. That one just didn't wanna really go, but it's in there now. And of course we see that our battery is put in there correctly because immediately the lights came on. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this off or turn our drone off for the next step. All right, so now that our batteries are in, we can go ahead and talk about the functionality of each button. So on our left side, we have throttle up, down, and our yaw to the left and to the right. On the right side, we have our pitch forward, pitch back, our roll to the left and our roll to the right. Since we're already here on the left side, since we're already here on the right side, let's go ahead and talk about these buttons here. 
So each arrow, that just controls the sensitivity of your remote. And then your button in the middle is your calibration button. This button here is your 360 flip that allows you to flip as much as you choose. Now here on the left side of your remote, let's talk about these three buttons here. The first one that we see that has an arrow going up and an arrow going down, that's just your takeoff and your landing. This one here, if you press your button once, then that turns your drone into a headless drone, headless mode, which allows uh, your drone to have the capability to have whatever way it's facing be your front. If you hold it down longer, that will bring the drone back to you. This one here, of course, is for your lights which is a really cool feature, the kids love it. And of course, in the middle, we have our stop, which controls the uh, emergency stopping. And this here doesn't do absolutely anything. It's just really there for decoration. And then of course, we have our power button that turns the drone, I mean, turns your remote controller on and off. And then here we have the button that controls your switch, uh, your speed. I am so excited that we have made it to this point. We are now ready to go ahead and calibrate our remote to our drone so that we can take flight. One thing that I do want to share first that is a huge difference between the remoting drone that we showed before and this one is that this particular Q9 actually has prop guards built in which the other one doesn't. I thought that that was something really cool that I should share with you guys. And also we can tell which way is front on this particular drone because there's this nice arrow that points to the front to let us know which way is front. And again, when our lights come on, usually the blue lights are in the front. So if you're ever uh, unsure about which way is front, especially if you didn't press that headless, headless mode button, that's one way to notice which way is front the arrow, and then those blue lights in the front. So let's go ahead and turn on both our remote and our drone. First, we wanna make sure that our drone is on a flat surface. We never wanna fly our drone from our hand because that's dangerous. So we wanna make sure that we put our drone on a completely flat surface. And then I'm gonna turn my remote around so that I know that it's safely in my hand. I can go ahead and press the on button to my drone, the Q9 will flash first, and then I wanna make sure that I turn the remote control on. And so the beautiful thing there is that we know that there's some type of relationship already going on with our remote and our drone because the lights flash when I turn my remote on, which is a good, good thing. The very next thing that I, we all want to do is press that calibration button. You'll see the lights quickly flash, and then there's, they'll stop. And then now we know that our remote control is connected to our drone. So now we are ready to fly. Would you look at that? Wasn't that exciting? I know that it was exciting for me. If you would love to learn more about all that we do here at the Global Air Drone Academy, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get dibs on all of the exciting news that we have coming your way. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.